Hi friends! As my first story on this channel, I thought it would be very fun to read a Sesame Street book called I Want to Be a Teacher. As Sesame Street is, it's suggested for the younger ages, but you can watch any age you are. And for parents, I have no disclaimers for this one, so I hope everybody enjoys. I Want to Be a Teacher by Michaela Muntean and illustrated by David Prebena. I like my school. I like my classroom and my desk. I like my teacher, Mr. Redmond, too. Someday, I'm going to be just like him. To be a good teacher, you have to know a lot of things. You have to know the alphabet, and you have to be a good reader. You have to know all about numbers and colors and shapes, and you have to know lots of songs and stories. Sometimes, Ernie and I play school at home. We set up our desks and chalkboard in the living room. We pretend it's a classroom. One rainy day, we decided to play school. I put the chalkboard next to my desk because I was going to pretend to be Mr. Redman. Everything was ready, but Ernie wasn't sitting at his desk. He was in the kitchen. What are you doing? I called to him. I'm packing my lunch, Ernie answered. Hurry up, I said. It's time for school to start. Gee, Bert, Ernie said when he finally finished. Where is my cubby for my stuff? We didn't have a real cubby, so we decided that Ernie should put his lunchbox in the closet. I said, good morning, class, just like Mr. Redmond does. Today, we are going to learn about weather. Ernie raised his hand. I want to know whether or not it will keep raining all day, he said. <laughs> Do you get it, Bert? Whether it will rain? Yes, Ernie, I get it, I said. Now please pay attention. So I started to teach. I wrote the word snow on the chalkboard. I told Ernie that no two snowflakes are alike. Each one has its own special patterns. For art time, we cut up snowflakes out of white paper and hung them up. Gee, Bert, said Ernie, this is fun. And look, no two are alike. Then I wrote the word wind on the chalkboard. We turned on the fan and pretend it was the wind blowing our snowflakes. Next, I wrote the word rain. We could see what rain was like by looking out the window. So we practiced our numbers by counting the raindrops on the window pane. We counted 24. At music time, we sang the Itsy Bitsy Spider because it was the only song I knew that had rain in it. It goes like this. The Itsy Bitsy Spider climbed up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain and the itsy bitsy spider climbed up the spout again. I'm sure you guys have heard that song. For story time, I read The Brave Little Pigeon to Ernie. It is a story about a pigeon named Puffy. Puffy has to fly through a terrible snowstorm to deliver an important message. The message saves everyone in the town and Puffy is a hero. It is one of my favorite stories. After story time, we had quiet time. Ernie got his blanket and spread it out on the floor. While he rested, I sharpened pencils and straightened up my desk. When quiet time was over, I wrote the words spring, summer, fall, and winter on the chalkboard. We talked about the different kinds of weather in each season. I asked Ernie to draw a picture of a tree in each season. He drew one tree with a few little leaves on it, one tree with lots of green leaves, one tree with red and yellow leaves, and one tree with snow on the branches. It was a good picture. I told Ernie I liked it. Then I taught Ernie a poem. Uncle Bart taught it to me, and this is how it goes. Oh, trees, you are so silly. You wear a lot when it's hot and nothing when it's chilly. Ernie liked the poem and said it five times so he wouldn't forget it. For alphabet time, we are going to play a word game, I said. What letter does the word window start with? W, Ernie said. Window starts with the letter W. If you look out the window, Bert, you'll see that it has stopped raining and the sun is shining. Is it time for lunch? We could eat in the park. I packed a sandwich for you too. I wanted to go on teaching, but I was hungry too. So I said, school is over for today. Let's go outside and enjoy the weather. Ernie ran to get his lunchbox. Then he raised his hand. Do you have a question? I asked. I sounded just like Mr. Redmond. No, I have something to say, said Ernie. 
What is it, Ernie? I asked. I just wanted to say that you were really good at teaching, old buddy. I learned a lot today. I smiled. Oh, I'm so glad, I said, because when I grow up, I want to be a teacher. The end. I hope you guys enjoyed and that you also have a great day. If you have any questions, suggestions, or comments, leave them down in the comments below. Have a great day. Bye.